year we should take up rock climbing. What do you think? Yep. <laughs> we'll do that rock up there. I can see you doing that. Right after we do the zip line. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, if you haven't figured out, we're uh, headed from Maine to Vermont with our extra couple days stay to see Nikki, Derek, and the kids. And uh, we left, it, I figured if we left around 11.30 or so, uh, everybody would have gotten to where they were going to get to. Oh, look, turkey. Turkey. Um, and there'd be, you know, minimal traffic. No, that wasn't the case. All the way up to North Conway was just solid traffic and it hasn't been too bad up uh, past Bartlett but it's like I have nothing against leaf peepers that's great you want to enjoy the sights but you know when you drive like you're the only person on the road and going so slow that you can count the leaves get off the road move over. or move over or something like oh, oh, here we come to the beautiful Mount Washington yeah, now we're coming up to Mount Washington, which is, I'm sure, going to be tons of people. Right. And I don't understand it, why, if there's a car on the side of the road, people feel they need to stop. Well, you saw we were traveling. We went from Maine to Vermont, and, uh, you know, right now we're in this period of... Uh, election stuff. And I've sort of made it a policy not to uh, publicly talk about politics or religion. Everybody has an opinion. That's great. I'm not going to get into it. But driving around and the television commercials, there's signs and posters. I really can't believe that anybody picks a candidate because of the number of posters they see on the side of the road and the massive amount of money that's spent on these posters. It's like mind-boggling. Never mind the commercials on TV, non-stop. So on the plus side of things, I'm really looking forward to be back in, back in the Bahamas because I won't see all that. I can look at the news, read it, take what I want, throw the rest away, and not have this constant barrage of political stuff going on. Which one's going to win? I don't know. We'll wait and see how that works out. But uh, there's going to be a lot of landfills or whatever, let me tell you. Because if the rest of the country is just like New England, there's a billion of those little road sign things uh, all over the place. To me, it's an incredible waste of money. But I guess I'm the only one who thinks that way. Well, today's Hello's second last day on vacation. Well, we're doing this again, and hopefully this time all goes well. We've got the paperwork. We got a little sleepy pill for Miss Hello, so hopefully we don't have that inf incident. And she's enjoying her sun tanning in her bed on her last day on summer vacation, I guess. Well, the colors are looking really good here, and if everything goes well, this will be our last evening in Maine, New England for a little while, assuming everything goes well. We've had a couple glitches about, which I'll tell you in a minute. Well, today's the last day, uh, hopefully. We had the vet stop by again. You needed new papers because you've got to have a certificate 24 hours before, blah, blah, blah. So we got that. She came by, gave us the new things. We got sleepy pills for a low. So that's a plus. <clears throat> and then this afternoon, I was looking at the paper, and there's like on the middle, there's a little like seal thing. And the seal thing wasn't there. So Sid sent her a text and said, uh, there's no seal thing. Is that okay? She said, oh, no, it mustn't have come out on the printer. I'll email you a copy, and you can just print it out. I said, okay, great. So she emails the copy over. I look at it and go, okay, the gold seal's there. Oh, no signature. So then we got to text her back again and say, uh, no signature. I don't think they're going to accept that. 
So then she stops over and does the signature. So now, hopefully, we have the right copy. We can get on the plane. Uh, Hello's going to be sleeping, hopefully. And everything, there's no more glitches as far as traveling tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Hopefully it goes very well. It's my mother's asparagus bed. They're all been put to sleep, I guess, for the winter. And then next year, she'll eat asparagus till they can't eat asparagus anymore. So hopefully if everything goes well, we will we'll get up tonight, 2 o'clock in the morning, and give hello her happy pill. And then pack up, have coffee. Well, actually, we'll be all packed up. Get to the airport, give the airport people our hopefully correct paperwork and everything, and then be able to get on the plane, have the start of our travel day, and by 5 o'clock, 5.30 at the latest, hopefully, we will be in Eleuthera, and we can open up the house. Hopefully it's not raining and uh, settle in for the night. I can sleep on planes. Sid doesn't. Hopefully Hello will. See you soon. <laughs>